Okay, guys, I'm going to start by saying Manila is not for me. Yes, it's not for me. <laughs> Hello, guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's a girl, every special as usual. So, if this is the first time you've seen this beautiful face on your screen, thank you for clicking. Please do it to subscribe, the like, and share. Yeah, so if this I've said that already. <laughs> so if you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much. I really appreciate. Thank you for always coming back to watch. Even if there are thousand and one people you should be watching right now. Thank you for clicking on my video. I really appreciate you guys are the best. Yeah, so today's video is just like comparing the two places I've, you know, stayed for a long time. Yeah, since I came to Philippines, I've been in Dagupan. When I left Dagupa and I went to San Carlos, so it's just like a closed city. But I think this is the first time I'm staying outside Dagupa or outside Pangasinan for a very long time. And I decided to come and, you know, share with you guys. What you the, Those ones that have been asking me, AB, AB, how is Manila? Will you prefer staying there forever? Or you're going to come back? Or all those things. So all of you that have been asking me that question, sit tight and, you know, enjoy yeah in case you don't know for those of you that have been or for those of you that are new um i stay in dagupan pangasinan but december i decided to change environment so i planned or to come to manila for staycation my initial arrangement was to stay for one month and you know go back to my province but due to unforeseen circumstances what did i just say due to unforeseen circumstances i you know i've stayed for like two months plus now and yeah so those of you that are asking me if manila is kind of favorable for me this one i'm staying this long I'm going to explain. Number one, Manila is cool though. It's cool in the sense that for the kind of person I am, I don't like disturbance. And yeah, where I am, it's very hard for someone to just come and start knocking on my door for nonsense. Yeah, like you feel so safe because of the securities around. You know that no one can just walk or barge into your house like that. So in terms of security, I say I'll, pref I'll, I'll, I'll give Manila that one. I'll give Manila that one that I feel more secured here in Manila than in Dagupan because in Dagupan I've been in my house before and someone was trying to open my door not knowing I was inside the house yeah so I'm sure you can't do that here because you can't even enter without my permission that oh I'm looking or I'm expecting someone so that's a plus for me the security here is it's good yeah so number two <laughs> If you don't have money, don't think of staying in Manila. See, I used to say this thing every time that everybody that stays in Manila, I remove cap for them because the money I've spent here, I don't think if I stay in Dagupan, I'll even spend that in a year. Honestly, this is not me being extra or this is not me exaggerating because for example the first money i paid when i came here like for the first month was my six months rent in dagupan listen very well my six months rent in dagupan was what i paid one month here so you can see the gap like imagine just just see the gap honestly i don't for now honestly if it was before that i had a good job or something i would have considered moving to manila finally but for now i don't have a stable job so i can't i can't or i won't i won't even dream of it no matter how comfortable i am here now i have i'm comfortable here and account is red already yeah so the the money i've spent here is way much above my budget even though it's for my own comfort or yeah it's for my own comfort it's not as if i'm spending it for someone but still it's way above my budget things didn't go as planned because normally my initial plan was i had a job so i should flex a little i've been in dagupa staying indoor at some point it's as if i'm running mad or I, something is wrong with my brain because i've just been in one spot i barely go out even to get things i get people to get them for me so i was like ab you just need to move 
you need to move because honestly it was really affecting me mentally i was like maybe you just need to go out of this space for now and that was like the best decision i made at that time because honestly when i came to manila i felt so good honestly i felt so good even without being around people it's not as if i have friends in manila that i was coming to meet that oh i'm staying with this friend or something i don't have friends that i can just pack my things and go and stay with like that but i have like two guys here that i talk to so it was not like i had a friend that oh will be taking me around or something so i just wanted a change of environment to see how it's going to affect me mentally because i noticed there was a lot of changes with me late last year yeah so the money i spent here from the first month the second month we are going to the third month it's more than my one year rent already in dagupan so the difference is <sighs> so for those of you that are asking me if i'm moving to manila finally the answer is n o capital what n o no because i don't have the money now i can't start what at the middle of the the way or along the line i want to start begging people for money or something i need to be stable before i can think of okay i'm coming to manila to stay finally but for now i'll be leaving very soon maybe the time i'm put when i'm doing this video self or maybe the time this video will go up i might already be in dagupan because as at the time i'm filming this video my days are just not my days remaining here is just like two or three days yeah so yeah the expenses in manila is too much from the transportation to food everything about them is just i don't know honestly people that stays in manila they are doing a great job the cost of living is too much and i feel like um in the province you can just easily walk to the beach when you're bored apart from the beach where else okay manila have more fun places to be honestly like this there are clubs they have clubs they have um their their cinema here is working but i don't think the cinema in the province are working already or maybe they've started but as at the time i left the cinemas were not open but in manila it's open there are a lot of fun things to do here you can go for um what's it called this thing they do in moa okay they have a park in moa where you can you know just have fun the park we used to have in pangasin and they closed it since the pandemic and they didn't bother opening it again so there are fun things to do here honestly but in pangasin and no much fun highest fun you can have in pangasin and is maybe you go to jollibee to eat with friends or uh, they don't really have clubs like that in pangasin and yeah not like in Pangasin and in Dagupan to be precise because I'm I'm sure other cities have fun places but Dagupan is mm, it's just there but honestly trust me I feel like I like this place if I had the money I would have stayed back honestly because apart from the rent my utility bills are kind of same so that was cool with me even at some point my utility bill year was kind of cheap and I was like how come like how come because i recently watched a video of a fellow nigerian that is um here in philippines she schools in odoneta and she mentioned something about moving because of the way they give her utility bill especially her electricity bill that the landlord was you know just giving her ridiculous amount and that's the problem with houses that shares me that honestly and that's the same thing i'm going that, that's the same thing i'm experiencing in dagupan because whatever they write and give to me is what i'm paying it's not as if i'm getting my bill directly from um decop because it's decop we use in dagupan it's not as if i'm getting my bill directly from decop it's what they write to me that i pay but honestly staying in manila and i use more i feel like i use more electricity here than in dagupan because apart from aircon which is i have the same kind of aircon in my house so apart from aircon fridge there's fridge here also there's electric cooker here and i cook a lot because yeah i think in manila i cooked more than when i'm even alone because of the guys around i cooked a lot here and it's electric then there's electric heater for bathing 
and what again there's washing machine though the washing machine i just tried it once and my bill came out like 1000 plus last month the first month came out 2k plus and i understood why that one was that much because i cooked a lot that period and last month was just 1k plus and i'm like wow and in dagupan i paid 3k plus for electric bill that i don't have heater i'm using gas to cook the only thing i'm 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 using that is elect that consumes electricity in that house is my aircon my fridge air fryer is once in a while and what again yeah tv and the same thing here there's tv so i feel like i don't know if the electricity company here is cheaper than the one in dagupan to be precise i won't say about other cities because like i said i've not really stayed in other cities that much i've been in dagupan almost all my stay in philippines so anything i'm saying or anything i'm comparing is the ones i've experienced which is dagupan so i feel like the lights the electric company in dagupan is more expensive than the one in manila or it might be that it's my um caretaker that is being wicked and giving me ridiculous bills to pay so for the bills aspects i prefer manila honestly because with all these things and i'm paying 1k plus 2k it's understandable because i understand i i use a, my aircon like almost 24 hours for those that know me you know that i really don't like using electric fan i use my aircon almost all the time so if my b is more than 1k i don't complain but 3k 4k that's when i start like what's going on and this is split aircon it's not window aircon if it's window aircon i can understand because window aircon can consume more electricity why split is that there's inverter so why that ridiculous amount so for bills i prefer manila to dagupan what other things i've not gone out for other shoppings about apart from groceries so i can't say okay things are way expensive here i just buy normal food stuffs and i feel like it's just a little bit expensive than what we get in dagupan but the price is fair so for food it's okay but for other shopping like for clothes and all that i've not tried it hair i didn't bother making my hair like all the people I've been contacting for hair, they've just been telling me big, big amounts that in my wildest dream, I've not think, I've not ever, that thought I've never crossed my mind that I'm going to pay that kind of amount to make my hair. This hair that I made here, it was from a friend that she came from the province to see her friend and I was like, please, before you go back, just help me make my hair. And that was how I was able to make this one I'm carrying now. All the people have been chatting for her they are telling me two thousand three thousand four thousand we in the province that we are still making hair in hundreds and i'll not come here and be making hair in thousands nah 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 because then my my max for hair is one key and that that has been my that has been the max i've paid for hair one k because apart from extension please before someone will say i'm greedy that how will i be paying one k with extension apart from extensions because i have a lot of extensions that is sent to me but hand work mostly most people collect 600 800 depending on the style 1000 i've even made here 400 500 before but here in manila I imagine like yesterday i asked someone because this my hair is very old so i was thinking maybe i should change it before going back i asked someone how much she mix her hair because they were like she's the cheapest and i asked okay how much is ghana weaving because i've been making box braid or one one a lot that's how she told me the ghana weaving itself here is one thousand then the braid at the tips one thousand that's two thousand i was like okay i'll get back to you that i'll get back to you is i'm never coming back so I don't think i'm going to consider staying in manila at this point in my life because man i'm broke i don't have money so if you have job for me fine I, I can consider staying in manila but since there is no job i won't consider staying in manila i'm going back to my house i can't do this anymore like i can't do this anymore yeah so that's all for this video see you guys in my next one hopefully mm, it won't take long i'm trying to make sure that i post at least two times in a week to see how my channel would
do like i said i'm monitoring my channel from now to middle of the year and see if there's any progress if there's no progress we're gonna say goodbye <laughs> but anyways let's let's be positive please um if you watch to this point and you're yet to subscribe please do it to subscribe like share with friends if you have any video suggestion drop it down in the comment section if there's anything you want me to talk about drop it down in the comment section see you guys in my next one love you uh, 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 uh. i don't know what's wrong with me but anyways bye this video is already 15 minutes.